an introduction to Islamic democracy. What is democracy? Literally, rule by people. The term is derived from the Greek democratia, which was coined from demos and kratos in the middle of the 5th century before Christ to denote the political system then existing in some Greek city-states, notably Athens. The belief in freedom and equality between people, or a system of government based on this belief, in which power is either held by the elected representatives or directly by the people themselves. Religious democracy. Religious democracy is a form of government where the value of a particular religion have an effect on the law and rules, often when most of the population is a member of the religion. Religious democracy is an example of how democratic values can exist in a different cultural elaboration than what it usually is known for. How does it work in Iran? There is a supreme leader in Iran which is considered to have the first level of power in the country. Thereafter, there are three arms in the country. The judiciary arm, the executive arm and the legislative arm. These hold the second level of the power. And the sub-levels to these arms would be government, tribunals and the parliament. As one would think, the second and the third level are the same, but in Iran that is not the case. The second level would be considered as a natural democratic system in a completely democratic country. However, holding all the power by one person is counter-democratic elections and selections. There are several elements to be considered in a country like Iran. The people introduce the candidates. The candidates are supposed to attend elections. However, there exists a supreme leader who is able to make selections in the country. These selections will consist of head of judiciary, guardian council of constitution, expediency, discernment, council of the system. The heads, and in some cases, the members of all the three of these are directly or indirectly selected by the supreme leader. In which case, the head of judiciary is selected by the supreme leader. The members of the expediency discernment council of the system are all selected by the supreme leader. Thereafter, the head of judiciary selects half of the members of the Guardian Council of the Constitution. The other half, on the other hand, are directly selected by the Supreme Leader himself. That gives one the impression that the half that is not directly selected by the Supreme Leader himself is in fact selected by his consent. The Guardian Council of Constitution holds different tasks. One of the most important ones is to verify the eligibility of the electoral candidates. These candidates are meant to become the head of the government, the members of the Assembly of Experts and the members of the Parliament itself.
in cases that these candidates are not verified, they shall not be able to attend any election as the candidates. The task of the Assembly of Experts is to choose and monitor the leaders of the country. However, because the members of the Assembly of Experts are, in fact, verified indirectly by the Supreme Leader himself, they would not be in a place to change or, in fact, monitor the Supreme Leader himself. This would lead anyone to the conclusion that everything in the country is done by the consent of the Supreme Leader himself. Consider a legislation in Iran. The Parliament suggests a legislation. That legislation shall go to the Guardian Council of Constitution. The Guardian Council of Constitution must verify a legislation in order for it to become a law and thereafter to be given to the government in order to be executed. If the Guardian Council of Constitution refuses to verify a legislation done by the Parliament, the legislation shall go back to the Parliament itself for reconsideration. If the Parliament decides to change the legislation, it will thereafter go back to the Guardian Council of the Constitution in order to achieve verification. However, if it is not changed and the Parliament in fact refuses to modify the, the legislation, it will go to the Expediency Discernment Council of the System, where it will be considered. If it is passed, it will be given to the government as a law in order to be executed. However, if it is refused, the legislation will be dropped. This will also give one the impression that the legislation are indirectly controlled by the Supreme Leader himself.